Hey Outlanders and friends of the channel. Yeah, my last uh, setting video is already one year ago and some weeks ago a friend of mine which I, who is also playing uh, Vigor and I'm playing a lot is uh, contacted me that he changed his setting and is very happy with it. And um, I asked him to send me his settings. I tried them, but yeah, they unfortunately they are not uh, my preference. Yeah, settings are personal, so not every setting works for everyone. But uh, I started playing a little bit with the uh, figures and with the um, settings itself, and I came to a really good setup I'm really liking now. So I think these are the best settings I had in the in since I started playing Vigor, and I'm really happy with it. It's a little bit of change, but uh, I got really good results with it. Uh, especially on the aiming and and uh, sight uh, shooting, I th see an improvement. Yeah, and I want to share them simply with you. So good in the option itself. Uh, when I look into the control, nothing really. A lot in the first has been changed. Uh, so the first ones uh, are standard. My sensitivity is still 100. It's uh, the highest setting. I like it. I have no acceleration, so for me this works great. What changed is uh, I changed the aim sensitive uh, third person from 40 and 30 to 25 both. So it's a little bit uh, slower but um, still workable for me. And the first person aim uh, Y and X I changed from 30 and 20 again also to 25. So I have now all the aim sensitivity on the same value, value and I must say this works really great for me. What I also changed uh, is uh, I played several, I think one or two years without aim assist. So I changed that back, I think some weeks or even before. So um, now still have the, the, the aim assist and now enabled. Why not? Because um, it, it giving you some advantage, especially when you move uh, from one side to other and uh, then on the target itself it will slow down so it's not consistent but uh, it's a it's an advantage you have the inner zone and out out of uh, that zone i have still on the left uh, standard so nothing changed here move exponent i moved to five so it's also working for me i had it on one and um, the main change I did also here at the end, so everything else stayed the same, but my aim exponent is uh, was before 220, it's now 180, and the zoom exponent uh, was before 1, I am lowered it to 0 0.8, and yeah, as said, I really like it, so when I go to the shooting range, it's a little bit as said, 100% sensitivity is still here, so it's okay. You can look around quite fast. I don't have acceleration on, so you see other streamers and content creator having really, so they can double three time uh, roll f with that. But I personally don't like that. So I'm not, um, my play style is I want to see people. I don't want to fully rush and react as fast as possible. So, um, this is my setting I like, so I still can aim here, can go there, so it's still fast. But yeah, if someone I need to turn quickly, this will not be possible in, uh, as fast as others, but it's okay for me. What is now the difference is um, when I aim down sight, especially here, it's slower. So what I typically, so when you for example go from this target, this target then for example you're shooting this target here and then you're going there it takes some time so you need to be aware of that but what I'm anyway doing is typically I my point is here I uh, in the middle of the screen the red dot so I anyway go first to the in the near of the person I aim in shoot then I go there and aim in and shoot so and I'm not doing that with uh, the, the scope itself because um, scoping is only I use when people are in distance or when I snipe um, so basically I'm most this uh, second person view so this aiming the standard aiming is for me most of the time what I'm using and there it's the same I go there so you still going between targets it's still okay um, but uh, I 
typically aim here, shoot, and I aim here, shoot. So this is something I started doing. So you go there, you go to the other person, you shoot there, and then it's okay. Um, I really think this is one of the things you should learn if you're not doing that already. So aiming with um, or going to the target with the point like that. So you can move there so you will have the target there. But going there, quickly scope and shoot. So this, this is something I practice quite a lot. So going there to the target, shoot. Going there, shoot. Because this will... When you do that practice a lot you will see using that in games so also in my videos you some most of the time can see that so i'm going there aiming and shoot on a target which is more uh, far away yeah you will have uh, quite some spread so what i'm doing is typically burst so going there burst 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 and then you shoot them so it's working great so also for example with uh, these targets you shoot there shoot there I would practice that uh, simply because it's, I think, something which will enhance your gameplay. So you can still move, you can aim corners, targets, and then simply zoom in quickly and shoot. This will really help you to be faster, uh, go there, go there. So it's it's something I started doing and I think I, think I see already some good results with it. Yeah, these were my settings. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as said, settings are always personal one. Some like it, some not. Uh, some prefer other things. So you need to find your settings. Don't tweak too much. So if you are used to settings, don't change them drastically to something else because, uh, yeah, you will have a hard time then getting good results. But um, let me know what you think of the settings, where you think maybe I can still improve, what I should do, what your settings are, keep it in the comment, uh, and let's have a discussion on that. Many thanks for joining in, I wish you a nice day, and stay safe. See you guys.